Uh, hi everyone, this is attorney Ayhan Agmin. Do we have to pay the tax turn or we don't have to pay the tax turn? You have to do as a J-1 work and travel applicant. You want to make sure that you follow the rules that your sponsor is telling you that you have to do. Why? Because the sponsor company is the one has gotten the authorization from State Department to authorize and to provide you the S form for you to be able to come and join the work and travel program. So they are going to be notifying and letting you know what are the things is needs to be done or you have to do it. So because of that, what I will recommend that you follow that those rules that work and travel sponsor company has provided you that you have to do. You know, such as attending your program, right? Such as letting them know before you leave. Such as if they are saying that you have to file the tax return, then you're going to have to file. But this is what the technical part, that's what I think you should be doing. But if I give an exception, right? I mean, technically for someone to file a tax return in the U.S., two things usually needed. One could be, if the person is a resident of the United States. So if you are here under six months, you're really technically not the resident of the United States, even if you're under another visa. So secondly, if the income that you're receiving is less than require a month that for you to file the tax return, then you're not really required to file a tax return, right? So there are things that actually you're not required to do tax return as a J-1 applicant, work and travel applicant. But if your sponsor is telling you that you have to do, that's important because you want to make sure you follow your program rules so that next year when you're applying to get one more time, right, or multiple times, you don't want to sound like you haven't done what was required you to do. So I would suggest them to file their tax returns. The J-1 work and travel applicant, when they file tax returns, not to list them as a resident, but list them as a J-1 you know, uh, program or J-1 visa status. That means they're not going to get more money back but that's the truth, that's the way it should be done so not to have any future problems. I agree with you. That's why when I was saying that, I know because they're not residents, so they cannot list it that way. Um, yes, when they're filing their tax return, don't do just in a way, oh, I want to get money back. You should, you have to do in a way that it actually you're not violating any rules, that you won't have any problem later on, which I agree. <music>